know guys Wolfie we'll here um, it was pretty fun last time summer of 58 I mean the jump scares I can't call these generic ones um, the things you expect don't turn out to be what you expected initially if that makes sense it's just like literally very creepy it was really fun exploring the camp just just as long as there is a bathroom here, I think I'll be fine. Just wanna open one of those boxes to see what's inside. And also, I don't really get the part with the light bulbs. So the... Someone locked the door. So the light switch... Is on. It, it's on. If I go back to my room to pick up the light bulbs, whenever I try to interact with the light bulb, so I pick up a light bulb and the camera switches off and I can't do much, just like there's one option, you know, you can just dismiss it and that's pretty much it. Okay. Someone just dropped toys. Oh, there's a news new newspaper. Oh. Here we go. One day a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. Explanation. She went everywhere with him and even slept with him. Okay. The guys began began to mock her the, that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker. And in the coming night, the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mock her and strangle everyone at night. Okay, so basically the entire the entire camp disappeared because uh, of a haunted whatever whatever evil stuffed bunny. Okay, right. That's a cool backstory, I guess. Guys, your prank with fire leads to a fire. Huh? Oh, right, the poster. Okay, basically don't play with fire, guys. And the translation is not really accurate. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Last switch is still dead. The, the bunny just invited us to his place, guys. <laughs> what? What happened? Jesus. All of that just because of one ball. Come on. With this key I can open the box. Right. <laughs> Something tells me it's not gonna be that easy. Oh, then no music now. Okay. Jesus. And our playground. But why would you have pictures of some abandoned playgrounds? What the hell? I am prepared for you. I am prepared for anything. I'm not scared. It's gonna be a jump scare. Come on, I'm gonna unlock it and then I turn around and something jumps out. Can I lock the door? Yay! Okay, I feel safer already. Dear Diary, today is an annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me. During these years I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. What? You will bring up real people? Huh? Always a good sign when it's uh, loading. Night of 58. Oh! No ways, are we gonna like time travel or something? 
After a severe thunderstorm, there is no light in the building. Oh, I'm just gonna go through the story of whatever happened before. Ah, so cute. Don't play with fire, guys. Um, okay, guess we're gonna find out what happened. I, I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll be pretty disappointed if it was just a killer stuffed rabbit, bunny, whatever. That'd be it. A little bit, a little bit sad. I prefer literally a haunted like place with ghosts and shit. Children and the caregivers are asleep. I won't bother. I wouldn't bother them. Okay. How are they asleep? Are you deaf or something, dude? Okay, of course, a, s a tricycle. Okay. Can't interact with the door. It's fine. Okay. Still. Oh, that's cute. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for uh, Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decide to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Uh, that's sad, dude. Suppose I need to inspect pictures or something? Anything out of the ordinary? Don't really see anything. Okay. The vents kind of look out of place. Everything else is so trashed. And just a brand new vent? Okay. Oh yeah. What about this thing? Doesn't work. Okay. What a surprise. Oh, there is a safe. There we go. IQ 1000. Someone found and hid my key to the safe. Okay. Okay. That's someone I have a feeling we're gonna find out who it is in a second. Kids, who took my key? Oh, okay. Music box? So how come I could open just just this one? Yes, it's a music box, but what am I supposed to do with it? Okay. Tricycle. has to mean something, right? Hmm. 
So if someone hit the keys, where could those be? Flower pots? Oh, dead raven. Okay then. Poor bird. Anything under the desks? There's gotta be something I'm missing, come on. Come on. Yes, yeah, the music box, dude. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, right. Um. table the desk wasn't open was it Anna we need to run uh, it's all because of the director I was spying on her she was talking to someone about someone something bad you have to believe me warn everyone we don't have much time until I hit the key in the closet we can make it help me in the closet where's the closet oh there we go okay this is definitely summoning some demons from hell or spirits. In the closet. Which closet though? Don't see any closets here, do you? Or is it in one of these? Lockers. Lockers. Closet. Vent. The key to the safe. Oh, genius. How is that a closet? How is that a closet, though? What? Hello? What's so important you'd keep here? Yakov Parasite stole the second gas cylinder. I need to spray the sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back. Dude! What surgery? Jesus, it all makes sense. So, is this. Am I playing as the director? So she wants to rescue her son and she needs a donor I guess like we need a heart transplant right she she gotta take it from someone Jesus Christ we work together with like sister Gavish in an orphanage 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 uh, they acted carelessly and received a complaint the director had to close the shelter I was suspended from medical work now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and our sister Gage will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. There you go. What did I say? Genius. Um, according to the indicators from the medical Yeager, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. I don't know, man. The filter is missing and the gas is... And the glass is broken. 
A special boy Yakov came to the camp, he has no parents or relatives and he became my favorite because he is so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him, Yakov is a good boy although he does not speak but he understands everything and uh, does everything I ask. In the afternoon I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered to fulfill an uh, agreement tonight, This day, the day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Uh, before going to bed children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Well, something tells me that was her original plan, but... But something happened. And that something is there. <laughs> really? Oh, dude, come on. I don't want to go through this. You need to put this, the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. Dude, this is so messed up. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Revenge. And then she ended up being a donor herself. Okay, nice. Right. Well, serves you right. <sighs> Wait, so... So we've just experienced everything, yeah? If I'm not mistaken. Camera, yep. Take. Take, take, take. Okay, but... None of that is our fault, so I, I hope the ghosts will forgive me and let me go. Right? So... You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place alone. Okay, fine, I'm going. There are empty pages left in Marie's area. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Who's standing outside the door? Dude. You. It's like there is someone behind it. Whoa. Then get the hell out of here. What are you doing, man? What are I. What am I doing here? Okay. Someone opened the door just now. Okay, and now I can't interact with it. Sounds like someone's trying to open it really slowly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Light bulbs. Light bulbs are gone. An investigation is underway at this, this disappearance of children and employees from uh, Unis Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955. I think we already read this. That... That the missing people have never been discovered. Okay. What am I looking for here again? Oh yeah, I guess I need to turn on lights again. Music box is not here. Let there be lights. <gasps> kitty! I just heard the kitty. Where's the cat? Okay. 
Where are you? How come this time I don't need the dictionary anymore? Okay. Hold it. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me, who are you? Okay. Are you gonna slide that under the door? Yep. Okay, we're gonna get our answer. Hello? Hello? I should try writing the letter again. Okay. Why not? I read that people were killed there. Did you do that? Tell me. Uh, then I can help you. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> Who does that? What? Okay. Should we should we answer the the phone now? I mean, pick up the phone. On, call me. You got my number, right? Anything? Another letter? Oh! Yay, we got our answer. Got the pen pal body. Yeah, I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get me out of here. Okay. Hmm. Always the little kids, dude. Or babies crying. Come on. Please. What am I doing here? Why me? Come on. What? What? Okay. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water she did not watch and did not go to the river one day the older girl decided to laugh at her uh, tied her hands and poured water over her she was very scared and ran away they couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead but one night she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her after that her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon Oh yeah, right. The, the kids uh, before bed they were making up these horror stories, I guess. Anything else? Okay. Where did that rabbit go? Round three. Is your name Jakob? Have you been living uh, here alone for many years? Don't. Whatever you're planning to do, don't do it, please.
Yes, uh, here I can communicate with my friends who got this place because this is, this is our home. A lot of people came here to break our, our things. But my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here. And those people will come for me. Okay. Oh, there is the cursed cabin, of course. Dude, you can't help the kid. He's been dead for like, what? Over 50 years. Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Because all of them got gassed. Right? Okay. Can I just walk around here? Oh yeah, nice. Do I need to go back to that room? The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remain locked up here. The, that day, in the evening after lights out, someone came, probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that was because of this, he poisoned all of the residents and the director. Okay. Okay. And this was planned by the director of the camp. Uh, what are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Okay. That wasn't that creepy, to be honest. It's all her, I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do the, their work at night. They realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn anyone, everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared to, scared and I hid. Um, in the morning I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes to go to the rooms. How is he? Did I, obviously he's a ghost now. That building abandoned. Can I get there? Oh man. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. We'll have to go to another abandoned building. Dude, Jesus, please. Please don't do this to me. Of course. Jacob doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital near to, to the borders of the front door. Oh, dude, right, abandoned hospital. Well, as long as we can get out of here, I don't mind. Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. Wait, he, he barricaded himself on purpose. This is a brave man. Whoa, there's a lot of nice in this game. Abandoned hospital this time, yeah? Okay, Jakob said that uh, I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Time to experience the abandoned hospital. Just kidding. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, 
hopefully you'll join me on my next uh, adventure which is gonna be the hospital so until next time see you in the next part cheers